Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, today's look is basically going to be a glam version of the uh, glam, yeah, a glam version of the Joker. Y'all got, you already know, y'all already know what the Joker is. So I thought this was extremely cute, especially for like the Halloween season. Definitely something you can wear for like a costume, not a costume, but something to wear with your costume. I had a lot of fun doing this look. I thought this was extremely cute. Definitely reminds me of the Joker, like the colors and everything like that. This look was also extremely easy to do. If you guys want to recreate this look, please make sure to look in the description box below for all the products that I use for this look. Everything that I use in the description, I mean, everything that I use in this video is also going to be in the description box below. In case you guys have any questions on what I use for this specific look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment any video suggestions you guys would like to see. And also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications so, you're not, so you guys never miss any more uploads. All right, y'all, so do not mind the craziness or whatever. I got my bundle going on tonight. It is about 12 o'clock at midnight, so I'm doing this video pretty late. Today's look is basically going to be like a Frankenstein, Beetlejuice-inspired look. I really got inspired to do this look off of an Instagram picture that I saw uh, a couple weeks ago. And I thought it was, like, very cool and very fun to do for the season right now. I just feel like this look would just be very cool for, like, the, you know, for the Halloween moments or whatever. So anyways, I already did my brows off camera. You guys know I don't do my brows off camera. But let me know if you guys would like to see a video of how I do my brows. I do already have a video on my channel on how I do my eyebrows for like a natural, neutral glam. But if you guys want to see like how I do like the full beat brows, please let me know in the description box below. And I will definitely do that video for you guys. Or if you just want me to do a, you know, do my brows on camera in one of my videos. Just please let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys. Now I'm going to apply. I'm going to actually apply that um the shade too on my on my um eyelid just so i can get that as a base for my eyeshadow colors because i really want my eyeshadow colors to really be very vibrant and re very bold for this look so i'm going to apply that p louise base in the shade two on my eyelids i'm going to let it see for about two to three minutes i'm going to be right back with you guys so i'm getting done blending it out and about to apply my eyeshadows now my base is all set it's actually been like you guys don't know this but it's, it took me like 10 minutes i had to fix my brow because i feel like my brows weren't really like doing it for me i'm gonna go with my base to brazil palette and i'm gonna mess with these purples right here for my crease colors i want my crease to be purple and then my lid to be like white and green so i'm going to use i'm trying to use like the lightest purple that i think this one has so i think it's this one i feel like this is the lightest one this one is more like that pinkish tone purple so i think i'm gonna go in with no should i go in with this one yeah, I'm going to go in with this one. I'm just going to go in with this purple right here. And I'm going to build that up into my crease. It's going to act as my transition color. Then I'm going to go in with like some darker purples in the end to kind of like darken that up. So you want to make sure that you're putting enough of that color on to your comfortability. I want personally, I want this look to be extremely pigmented, extremely spooky looking. So I want this color to be like very vibrant in my creases. So what I'm just doing is continuing to add more color into it. I can stop right here. But it just looks like pretty much like airy to me. So I'm going to put a little bit more of this color on. And then I'm going to pack another color on top. Now this color is packed onto very lightly, you know, not doing too much. And now I'm going to go in with a darker purple and I'm going to darken this up just because it looks pretty flat. And I think, I think I want to go in with this purple, but I feel like it's not, like, I feel like it's, it's dark. I feel like it's not really, I feel like it's not really dark i just feel like it's like a different undertones in this one i feel like this is just more of like a warm tone purple this is more like a cool tone so i'm gonna see if this is dark enough for me to darken this but if it's not going to go in with another purple in another palette i want to paint that color right at like right above this color just to give it more of a gradient effect I'm 
more like that uh beetlejuice frankenstein type of color instead of just like a like a pinkish toned purple like a warm tone purple so now i'm going to go in with a even more darker color so that this can darken up a little bit more because we're just going to keep packing these colors upon just so we can get that darkness and that spookiness that we want in our crease so i'm going to go with i want to try this color i might as well kind of try this color it's even darker it's like even darker it's more it gives you more like blue toned but i'm still going to use it i'm just going to pack this like literally at the line of my crease just so it can just stay right there like i'm not trying to put that color anywhere else but at the line of my crease and you probably want to use something like this like a little small tapered brush just so it won't really get anywhere else but at the crease at the line of the crease here it goes see it comes off as a little blue but it still has that purple tone in it so So I didn't want to go too much with that color because it was giving me like blue vibes and I really wasn't going for that for this particular look. So I'm going to go in with another purple, uh, another purple. Like I say, I want this color, I want this creep to really be like purple. Like I really want it to be purple. So I'm going to go in with like probably the darkest purple that I have. And I'm going to use that to, like I said, for the other color, just pack that color at my crease, like at the line of my crease. This is more of that purple eggplant type of color so i'm gonna go in with that color is very dark and vampy just what i need for this look So basically, as you guys saw in the last clip, I was basically just going in with each one of those purples that I already applied. Just going back in with each of those colors so just so that I won't really lose them. Because I really want each color to stand on its own. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut my crease. Because this is as, as much as like purple that I wanted to get. I am going to eventually, like towards the end or whatever, after I get done cutting my crease, I'm going to go in with a black. Just to really smoke it, like, like smoke it out a lot. But I'm going to cut my crease right now. I'm going to use the Pure Louise base in the shade 0 to do so. I'm going to be right back when I'm about to get ready and apply my lid colors in my black. And this also, if I did not mention it to you guys, well, yeah. If I didn't mention it to you guys, this is going to be a half cut crease look today. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of full cut creases and elongated cut creases. So I wanted to do a half cut crease, kind of switch it up for, you know, for a little minute or whatever but if you want to do a full cut crease for you know for your personal reasons or whatever definitely do a full cut crease my personal preference i'm going to be doing a half cut crease okay so i personally do not want my crease to be this high but we're gonna have to do what it do it still is very cut cut to the guys as i always say y'all right now i always say the way mad but anyways I got my crease cut and now I'm just going to go in with my lid colors for lid colors for this look I'm going to do white and I'm going to do green I honestly don't not e do not even know if I want to do a shimmer version of white and green or if I just want to do like a matte look I'm kind of leaning more towards a shimmer because I feel like I haven't been doing shimmers lately my last couple looks I've been doing matte looks so I really feel like I want to do a shimmer but then again I don't know I really don't know I'm gonna have to see because I got a few shimmer greens not a lot I got a few shimmer greens but I don't know I'm gonna see I'm gonna be right back okay so I made my mind I'm gonna do a shimmer I'm gonna do shimmer white when well, I like a white it's gonna be like a iridescent type of white it's not gonna be like a pure white I really don't have a pure white color and honestly this probably this is really why I'm not doing a pure white but I'm gonna do like a shimmer a shimmery iridescent white and i'm gonna do a shimmery green and i'm gonna do black so yeah so i'm gonna go in with the flash shade brush something like this just like a regular flash shade brush to apply my lid colors i'm gonna spray my brush just so that i can get that pigmentation that i want y'all already know when i'm doing cut creases or when i'm doing multi-color lid lid colors i always start with the middle shade so i'm gonna do my green first 
and then I'm gonna transition to their inner corner. I'm gonna go with this color right here. It's kind of like a neon green. I didn't want to do like a dull green. I wanted to do like a, a pop of green. I kind of zoomed up just because I really want you guys to see, like, the colors and what I was actually doing. But y'all already know I'm going to end up putting some more of that color on. Even though it's pretty, you know, it's there. But I want it to be there, there. I want that color to really pop out because it's the reason why I'm doing green and purple. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. But you guys can see, I did leave a little bit of that concealer left. I mean, not the concealer, but that base, the P. Louise base. I did leave a little bit there just because I'm going to go in with a darker, like a black or something at the end. To really like smoke it up on the outer v's i'm just going to do the inner corner because i also left a little bit of base at the inner corners as well this white right here it's not a white it looks white on camera but it's more of like a blue toned iridescent white and i feel like it'll look good with this um with this look so i'm just going to use that i wish you guys could see the true color you can see it a little bit it's more like blue toned rather than this was a lot more like golden tone so i'm going to use that right there Now, if you guys saw in the last clip, I was basically packing that color into my inner corner. It looks a lot better and it actually looks like white. But instead of just that white, it just looks a lot more vibe. Now, I'm just going to deepen my outer V up just because, you know, I feel like it's missing that deepness. So, I'm actually going to fill in that little empty, not empty, but that missing color. Yeah, I can't get my words out. That missing color from my uh, outer V. I'm just going to fill that in with that purple that I used earlier. And then um, I'm going to do the black. And then I'm just going to go in just a little bit, just a little bit, y'all, because I know this black is very pigmented. I do want in the end for that black to definitely be shown. But I'm going to go in just a little bit with the black from the BH Cosmetics website. I said website. <laughs> the BH Cosmetics palette. I don't know what was making me think website. I don't know. But I want to go in with that black from the BH Cosmetics palette. This black right here. I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to put it right here. Like literally tightly at the outer V of my eye. And you're not trying, I don't want to blend it out nowhere. I just want to pack it. Just keep packing it. You're not necessarily blending it out. You're just packing it. You see? Alright, so now y'all see that it's, this is looking too good for me. Like, this is coming out perfect, y'all. Every time I be a little skeptical of how it looks, don't come at all, but it just comes out 10 times better. That's just crazy. I love everything about how this look is coming out so far. But anyway, so this is how it looks. Got a little cut crease cam. Yeah, I'll be feeling myself when I be putting makeup on. Because why not? Period. But anyways, so I think I want to do a liner. I feel like I want to do a liner for this look. But I'm a little scared because it looks so good right now. I feel like if I do a liner, it's just going to mess it up. Because I'm not that good at liner. I literally just started knowing how to do a liner like two weeks ago. Honestly, I'm not even joking. So I'm a little scared. Because if I, if I do this liner and it don't come out right, I'm going to be scared. So mad, I probably cry, like forever. But then again, if I do it and it comes out right, you know. So I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Why not? Why not, y'all? It's just makeup, right? So I'm back and right there. I put my lashes on. Also, attempted to do a wing line. I didn't do anything crazy. 
But I just did like a little sample, like a little wing liner. I put my lashes on and I also already prepped and moisturized my face. I already used an Adobe Intensive Cream Care. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what I use to prep my skin. Now, y'all already know what I use for my foundation. I use the Cover Girl True Matte. No. Yeah. True Blend Matte Made Foundation in a say D6. Putting it on my brush. And I love this brush to blend out my foundation. Definitely gives it that coverage and it doesn't soak up my product. Yeah, I see that coverage. Can't even tell I got no acne or dark spot. I love this brush, y'all. I always leave the Shop Miss Aid link in my description box below in case you guys want to check out their brushes. They have this brush right along with a lot of more brushes on their website. If you want to check them out, everything on their website is a dollar. So this brush right along with the other ones, just like here, are also a dollar. Very, very convenient. You're not spending a lot of money on some good brushes. Definitely getting your money's worth even though it's just a dollar. And I know in my last video, I showed you guys a new and an improved, not, not necessarily new, but just like a better and improved way of how to uh, apply your foundation and concealer and stuff. And I love that. I love that technique as you guys saw in the last video, but I just decided to do this. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like honestly, in the end, both look, I mean, both ways give you a dissimilar look. So it's just, it really doesn't matter which way you do it. This just takes a little bit longer. And because I really don't have anything else to do at all, I'm just like, okay, I might as well just go ahead and do it the other way. Just to spend like a little bit more time doing my makeup or whatnot. I love this look this is so cute it, it works good for like a halloween not necessarily a costume but if like you have a costume on already and you want like your makeup to like correspond with your um with your costume this would be a dope makeup look like if you would dress like the girl version of the joker or something like that i don't know like whatever you dressed up as or whatever like a cute like little dress or something and then you kind of just want to do like a cute makeup look. This would definitely be good, y'all. I don't know why my makeup, my foundation act like you don't want to come out. I'm not always in the mood to do makeup, you know. Sometimes we just like, we're not in the mood to do it. And that's, and I feel like that's kind of how I've been overall. Like I plan to do my makeup actually a lot, like uh, a couple of days, like in a row, a few days in a row leading up to this day. And every day, I was just like, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Now, I'm just not doing it. So, it's crazy. Because the look, this look and the breast cancer awareness themed look, these looks, I did the breast cancer awareness look on Thursday, which you guys just now seeing the day before this. But I did that look Thursday. And I'm just not doing this look today, which is technically now, what's today now? Today is technically now Tuesday because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So, this Friday. No, actually, I did that, that breast cancer look. Yeah, Thursday. So, it's been almost a week apart. I'm not going to say I've been unmotivated. But I've just been like, I don't feel like doing it. You know, like, I'm not doing nothing else. But I didn't get out. I just don't feel like doing makeup. Because you got to think about it. When you do your makeup and you want it to come out a certain way. And, you know, you got to take your time doing it. So, Especially when you're doing like a whole full glam for the eyeshadow and everything. Eyeshadow, full beat brows and everything. You got you got to take your time on it. You know, it's not going to take no hour. Even if you're a pro at it, still not going to take no hour. Unless you like literally on a rush. You got to take your time. And I don't be, I don't be feeling like I have the, the patience to just. Not the patience, but that, that correct mindset to really just sit through and do my makeup. Like I'm not always in that mood. But when I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood and you're going to tell. And I'm in the mood today because I'm feeling good. I ain't feeling discouraged or nothing like that. This is my foundation. I'll blend out. Just trying to make sure that everything's all blending out and not 
out of place. You want to get down to their neck. You want to get those ears. You want to get to their hairline. You want to make sure that you're getting everything, especially on these pictures, because you don't want your you don't want your makeup to be looking so divided and all that. You don't want that. So, you know, my sponge, my sponge is dirty today, y'all. I gotta clean it. I gotta clean all my makeup, actually. Not my makeup, <laughs> my brushes and stuff. It's time for me to clean them. I usually clean them like two, sometimes three times a day, depending on how many times I do my makeup that week. But averagely like two, sometimes three. Cause I don't really do my makeup a lot unless I'm doing it for a YouTube video. I don't really do my makeup like to really go anywhere unless it depends on where I'm going. But most of the time I'm not really going anywhere. So I don't do my makeup every day of the week. So averagely I'll do it two times. If I'm really like doing a makeup, like if I'm doing a YouTube video like three times or four times a week, I'd wash them like three times a week. But yeah. I think I'm gonna go with a full Ford's beat with this look. I just feel like this look just requires that full beat look because of the smokiness and everything. So I'm gonna do a full beat look. I'm gonna uh, conceal a little bit more than usual and I'm also gonna contour a little bit more than usual. It feel like I'm going prom. I wouldn't be. I don't know. Depending on what my dress looks like, I probably would wear this look to prom. Like wear this little eyeshadow look to prom. I don't know. I probably have to have on like a white dress with like some, like either one of these color accessory accessories on or something like a handbag or something. This color. I don't know. But it feel like I'm going to prom or like some somewhere important and I'm getting my makeup done and I got my hair done already. Even though we all need to see how my hair looks under this. <laughs> I gotta do my hair for like the finishing, the finished look or whatever because my hair is all over the place under this bonnet. But it looks like, it feels like I'm waking up early in the morning and I got a hair appointment. And it's like my birthday or a prom or my wedding or something. And I got a hair appointment, I got a makeup appointment. I feel like, I feel good, y'all. Don't y'all feel good when y'all doing y'all makeup or when y'all like, finishing up y'all makeup? It's just so refreshing to just... And it's so satisfying and therapeutic to just do your makeup and then just see how everything is coming out. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's one of like the main reasons why I love makeup. It's so therapeutic to me. Ooh, come on. Just so this. And I ain't even contour you. What the fuck? contour using my uh, black opal foundation stick in the shade ebony brown everything is highlighted and all chiseled out as I would like this is how it looks very fun very fresh or oh, wet net so now I'm gonna set I'm not even gonna tell y'all what I use to set now I'm just playing I am gonna tell y'all even though I tell y'all in every video it's the same products y'all it's the same products everything that I use is in the description box to be low there will be some times when I don't say the products that I'm using at the moment and that's only because I for one use the same products and for two I always list all of the products that I use in the description box below and even if there are any new products and I forget to mention I always leave everything that I'm using for that particular look that I'm doing. I always leave every. I always leave. I always leave everything that I use in the description box below. So I'm just going to set using my loose powders, my um, 
contour powders, my pressed powders, and I'm gonna be right back when I'm about to get ready and do my under eye. Child, so now everything is set, and I'm loving how this is coming out. Well, the how this looks right now is so cute. Like, I don't know, like, it is just cute. It does remind me of like Halloween, spooky, haunted, haunted house type of vibes. It's just, it's cute. It's definitely cute for like a date night. Oh, y'all, if y'all didn't notice, if y'all watch my videos, y'all know every single, almost every single look that I do, I always describe it as date night approval like i don't know i feel like i always do looks that they look better at night maybe because i always kind of like smoke it out i don't know but i just feel like this would be cute for like honey house vibes you want to do your makeup you go into the honey house or something spooky for like this season you guys know tomorrow no i'm posting this video on the actual day of halloween so today is halloween today technically my day right now is not halloween but you guys will see this on Halloween. So, y'all can wear this tonight. <laughs> y'all can wear this tonight for real. Depending on where y'all going. Because I know a lot of y'all probably be going trick-or-treating. Or taking your sisters or brothers. Little brothers out to trick-or-treating or something. You want to get cute as well. You want to wear you like a little cute like little. Like I was saying, you can wear you like a cute like little purple dress. Or a green dress. Or a white dress. Or a black dress. Whatever kind of dress you want to. Whatever color dress you want to wear. You want to dress like Incredible Hulk or something. It don't matter. I just feel like this looks just very cute. And I, not even just for Halloween. You can just wear it anytime. Honestly, depending on what you got on. But it's cute. Oh, it's so cute. Give this like. Give this video a thumbs up so far. If you guys like how this look is coming now. I think I'm going to do some highlight. I usually don't do highlight. I really gravitate towards highlight. A lot of my looks. But I'm going to do highlight today. I think that this look requires some highlight. Not too much. But just like. Kind of like a little subtle highlight so you could just boom boom or with not but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do my um uh, lower lash line i'm gonna just do literally like black i'm gonna try to smoke it out as much as i can i want this look to be like black like just straight black like just straight black period now i have my under eye i just did like a black um i did black eyeshadow on my eye and i kind of did a little bit of that purple i don't really want to do purple so i just stopped doing it but i just did black and now i'm just going to go in with my lip for my lip i'm actually going to use that um uh, eggplant purple shade that i used in one of my other looks the not too long ago this right here this is a uh, nika k brand true matte it's a matte lip and it's in the shade Clairvoyant. Clairvoyant. And I'm going to leave this brand of lipstick in the exact color, the exact shade that I'm using today. I'm going to use that. I'm going to leave that in the description box below. And I'm also going to use just like red matte lipstick. And this is a different brand. I'm not even sure what brand this is. I, oh, this is Kiss. Kiss brand. And this is just like a regular red lipstick. I'm not going to put too much of this. I just want to put like in the middle to kind of create like a gradient effect not too much and this is in the shade um scarlet fever so this is the red and this is the purple toned burgundy and i'm going to put these together and it's going to give me more of that joker look yeah, i wasn't even expecting joker i was actually texting my boyfriend and i was i was like describing to him like how my look is coming out and he was like like the joker i was like yeah i wasn't even expecting the joke like earlier on the video i was like kind of giving you like Beetlejuice vibes but I guess all of them then Beetlejuice um Frankenstein um Joker I guess they're about it tonight so I'm everybody tonight so you got a costume for every for everybody so I'm just gonna apply this on my outer like the outer portion of my lips and then I'm gonna do the red for the middle for the inside
Am I giving you Joker vibes yet? It, it, I feel like I am though. It looks, it looks a little scary. But I'm gonna go in with this and kind of like glam it up a little more. This red kind of gives me like old people vibes. You know, like that, that classic red shade that all old women wear. Like all the old women wear that classic red lip. And that lip, that's why I never really use this. Probably like my second time using it. I don't really use it because it, I don't know. Like it's this one lip, this one red lipstick that I got and I love it. I actually don't even have it with me right now. That's the only reason why I ain't wear it for this look. But I'm going to have to go in a little bit more with that purple, with that burgundy purple that I used. And I'm going to just have to go a little bit on top of the red. It also is not giving me like matte vibes. Like that purple that I put on my lips, that's more matte. But this is not matte. I guess for the sake of this of this look it looks all right but if i was to ever like want to wear a lip like this out i would definitely go in with the actual matte red lip just to allow me to correspond with the matte and the purple for in the burgundy i think i'm gonna take this off i don't like that red it just kind of threw the look off trying to see what lip i want to do Uh, I'm gonna outline my lips with this purple again, and I'm gonna just use like a nude in the middle, like I was originally gonna do. Cause yeah, they threw it off. They didn't throw it off like the concept. Like I would definitely prefer to do a red, but that specific red that I got, no. And this is actually matte, so I actually love this nude lip. Cool. I like this a lot better than the red though. All right, so this is how everything looks. Well, this is not like the finished, finished look because I have to fix my hair and everything. My hair is all over the place at the moment. So I'm just going to fix my hair off camera and I'll be right back with the outro and the finished look for you guys. So I just did like a quick little hot puff in my head and when I, nothing too much, literally just put a string on my hair and squeezed it together. That's literally all I did. But as you guys can see, that is the final look. I love how this look came out. I cannot explain that in words. Honestly, I love everything about this look. Definitely reminds me of the Joker. Literally everything about it reminds me of the Joker. The colors, everything. It's definitely the glam version of the Joker. I know a lot of people have like their own recreations of like the Joker. I feel like this was like the perfect glam makeup because you could definitely like wear this out without looking like it's without it look like a costume so i love like the ombre lip that i did you have the purple then you have like the nude which the nude actually looks like more of like a lighter purple in the middle and i also have the half cut crease and eyebrows on fleek as usual i was going to do some highlight but i ended up not doing that because I, I don't know i feel like i like the matte look i don't really like i don't really stand for like highlight anyways so i just went without the highlighter and then i just wanted to do like a smoky eye with some simple lash i didn't want to do too much with the lashes just because i don't want it to take away my eyeshadow so if you guys like this look as much as i did please make sure to leave a like on this video comment any video suggestions that you guys like to see also make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me some give me up there when i because i feel like i deserve it like i feel like i'm really slept on i feel like i really deserve it Anyways, please make sure to turn on the post notification so you guys will never miss any more uploads because I promise you there will be plenty more uploads in the future. 
with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video